Hello, my followers. Today we are going to talk about the 2019 Mexican coming-of-age film Esto no es Berlin, a.k.a. This is not Berlin, written and directed by Hari Sama. The story follows a 17-year-old boy, Carlos, in 1986 Mexico, who gets involved in the local punk new wave scene. It, the year it takes place in is pretty significant because that's when the World Cup was held in Mexico, which actually comes up a few times. Anyways, Carlos and his best friend, Hera, are somewhat privileged teenage boys, something that becomes significant, who go to what appears to be a private school still gender segregated and play soccer but feel like there's something missing in life and don't quite fit in with their peers. It just so happens that Hera's older sister, Rita, who Carlos has a crush on, is in a new wave band and her boyfriend slash bandmate Tito needs his synth fixed. Carlos happens to be mechanically inclined and he fixes Tito's synth and they, in thanks, they take Carlos and Hera to the local alternative club, the Aztec. Here the boys get introduced to the scene and get involved in different ways. I don't want to give too much away because I want you to watch this movie, but a big driving force in the plot is how Carlos is really accepted and involved in the scene, whereas Hera does not as much despite wanting to, and how this impacts their friendship. But being a coming-of-age film about teenagers, the plot is heavily involved around the relationships between different characters centered on Carlos. The primary relationships are his friendship with Hera, which I already described, his thing with all the punk new wave people and how that impacts him and the things he does to get them to like him, and also his uncle Esteban, portrayed by the film's writer-director, Arisama himself. Esteban is sort of like Carlos in that he is also mechanically inclined, but unlike Carlos's father, also a mechanically inclined person who became an engineer, he became a motorcycle guy, and he's just a cool uncle who listens to blues records and smokes weed all the time. I think he's supposed to be sort of a juxtaposition with the other grown adults in Carlos's life, because he's someone who is, you know, very much a grown adult, but unlike the parents or the teachers, he's someone who didn't go the conventional grown-up route. Um, specifying uh, grown adults here because there's also his punk friends who are technically adults, but they're younger adults and they don't really act very grown up. Like a lot of coming-of-age films, there are a lot of things use sort of dichotomies between maturity and immaturity and being young and being older and how people handle things in life and art. There's a lot of good symbolic visual indicators good, that are good, not too in your face. In case you uh, haven't guessed, I really like this movie. It has a good story, good acting, and a really good soundtrack. Harisama describes it as somewhat autobiographical, and I don't know to what extent, but it definitely feels very real. It was a period piece, but it didn't feel fake the way a lot of them do. Even though the main characters were teenagers, I, as an adult, still found the story and characters compelling. It actually reminds me a lot of a lot of the movies I was super obsessed with as a teenager, though I don't think I'll be showing it to any of the youths in my life anytime soon because it would be awkward because they're all family members and uh, there's a lot of inappropriate stuff. Yes, this movie is intended for mature audiences with a lot of profanity and drug use and sex and nudity. Fun fact, most of the nudity is actually not in a sex context, but a performance art context. One of the characters is, shall we say, a multimedia artist, and one of his mediums for art is people's bodies covered in dough or mud or various slurs painted on. So yeah, about teenagers, but probably not appropriate for most of them that are before below a certain level of maturity, but if they are mature enough, then I say go for it, because teenagers need to be exposed to more media that's actually good, and a lot of the stuff that is aimed at them is not. Anyways, to any kids watching me, do not do what the characters do. Do not go to bars and clubs while you're underage. Don't drink. Don't do drugs. Don't give performance artists incorrect ideas about your sexuality for social approval. See parents who came into the room while your child was watching my videos. I'm a good role model. Please let your child keep following me. As far as I could tell, the only place that this movie is available to rent or buy is YouTube or Amazon. It might depend on your country. I don't know if in some places it's on Netflix or something. Maybe I'll throw a cast app viewing party if enough people are interested. Wherever you are, if you're into alternative subcultures, coming-of-age films, the 1980s, or just good movies, you should try and see this movie. It's good. People should watch more good movies. Also, consider following me on social media. I mostly talk about music, not movies. But it's good music. Thanks. Bye now.